Hey guys, welcome to my first episode of Two Dollars or Less, where I show you how to make generally healthy meals for two dollars or less. You can be making yourself something like this, and let me show you exactly the process how I do just that. The rules are simple: find the ingredients, cook it for two dollars or less. Generally, seasonings like salt, pepper, I'm not gonna include into the price, but everything else that's substantial, I'll include it, and we will have a grand tally at the end. I love to use the app Flip to find all my deals. Basically, it compiles all of the flyers that are out for this week, and then you can conveniently search for what you're looking for. So right now, I'm thinking about making some chicken. And then here is all the chicken from all the various supermarkets. Another feature I like to use is to sort from low to high, and boom! Suddenly, I have all the chicken from the cheapest to the most expensive. And my goal to do two dollar a meal or less is to buy chicken or any kind of meat for a dollar a pound or less. So seventy seven cents. Per pound is really really good, and that's probably what I'm going to go for. So right there, and usually I like to look at the flyer to see what other deals I can get. Since I'm already here, and um, okay, I've already made up my mind. So I'm gonna make chicken leg. So I can add these to my shopping cart and sweet potato for you guys today. 28 cents a pound. That's really really good for sweet potato. You can always double check your shopping list, and boom, it's right there. We need to go to Freshland. We made it to Freshland supermarket, so let's go buy those ingredients. All right, so I found the fresh chicken legs for 77 a pound. I'm not very picky, so kind of bloody, but you know this one will do. So I ran out of garlic at home. I'm gonna grab this. It's three for 98 cents. What an awesome deal! I have to get some spices. Need a little bit of rosemary. I don't know how much it costs, but you know, spices last me for a very, very long time, so I don't normally include those into the cost. Hams, 28 cents a pound. They look, you know, a little smaller than the ones that I normally get, but these will do just fine. In and out in five minutes. I'm back in my kitchen, and here's my sous chef, Mochi, over there. Let's get this meal started. I washed these and scrub them. We're gonna chop them into rough squares. Little rough squares. Now I wanna add about a teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of baking powder. There you go. Add my potatoes in, my sweet potatoes. Now that I have my chicken all washed, I'm just gonna do a very simple marinade. I'm gonna do about half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of um, sugar, and then some freshly ground pepper. Now I'm gonna add some garlic. Now we're just going to cook the pan, throw in a whole bunch of oil. I don't like measuring. Yeah, it's a little bit more oil. This is for the potatoes. Press some garlic. Lower the heat. Throw in a bunch of rosemary. That's good. And just stir this around. You want to flavor that oil. 
now you want to strain out your potato and just let it sit on top and dry out. So I'm just going to strain it directly on top of my potatoes. Next we season it with a little bit of pepper. We season it with a little bit of salt. Give it a nice toss. You want it to be a pasty consistency. Now you lie in a baking sheet. I like to use my toaster oven. But you can use a full size oven, whatever you want. It smells great. Excellent. Oven, set it for roughly 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Now that the time is up, you want to add the leftover spices on top. You can sprinkle those all over. Now we're just going to heat this up for one more minute. Put my chicken, ready chicken into my baking tray. Boom. Just like that. Okay, into the toaster oven it goes. I love using my toaster oven. So you want to preheat your oven to 400 or 425 degrees Fahrenheit and you want to cook it for 28 to 30 minutes. I recommend that you familiarize yourself with your toaster oven or your oven. That way you know you're getting perfectly cooked chicken every single time. Here is the final product, right there we got our roasted potatoes, sweet potatoes with garlic and rosemary and then we got our two whole chicken legs right here. These are not small chicken legs, they're pretty massive, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so excited, it smells so good in here and you guys saw how I made these from start to finish, it's not that hard. Let's try a potato. Mm. It's so well seasoned. The outside is crispy. Very, very satisfying. This is like restaurant quality right there. Mm hmm. So good. There's probably like almost a pound of, I would say, maybe like a quarter of a pound of potatoes right here. Maybe up to a pound. And then there's probably like almost two pounds of chicken legs right here so in total this whole meal is probably at least two and a half pounds of food now i'm gonna try the chicken leg for you guys oh my god mm. Mm. wow so succulent cooked all the way through as you can see Secret is to know your own, uh, know what settings to set it at for the most optimal way of cooking chicken. Once again, cooking is easy peasy, guys. Not a lot of work, not too hard. Usually, you know, if you're lazy, I would recommend you just cook a whole batch. You don't have to season it the same way for every single piece of chicken. You can do uh, other seasonings like garlic, onion, whatever chicken seasoning you guys have. It's not that hard. Make sure you marinate it for at least one hour. Overnight is even better. You don't have to use rosemary with your roasted sweet potatoes. You could just use regular butter. You can use just like salt and pepper and it'll taste amazing. But this is the basis of what you need to know to make a meal for $2 or less. So now for the breakdown. Chicken. I spent $2.45 on the chicken and it came with four pieces. I only used two pieces and so the total is $1.23 for these two pieces of chicken. For the potatoes, 
I spent a total of 66 cents for four potatoes and then I used two again and then basically that costed me 33 cents. For the garlic, I used four cloves, 98 cents for three whole stacks. That stack had three, three garlic heads and each garlic head has around 12 to 13 cloves. It ends up being less than one cent per clove. So I used four, we'll say four cents. So in total, this whole meal only cost a dollar and 60 cents. Are you crazy? Holy! It's not hard to do. I can do this every single week. You know, some days, you know, chicken might not be on sale. Then you go with beef. You can go with pork, you can go with lamb, go with whatever you want. Now the goal is to get the whatever meat you end up eating to be under one dollar a pound and you should be good to go. Same with a potato. We got lucky with the 20, 27 cents or so. Usually you can find these for 88 cents, 50 cents, 49 cents. Chicken, easily you can find it for uh, 99 cents, 88 cents, and 77 cents like today. All right guys, thank you for watching. I'm gonna enjoy this meal right now. Stay tuned if you wanna see more recipes like this. So please like, share, subscribe. Catch you guys next time.